Hello, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people of YouTube. I'm Glanch Mage. Welcome to the channel. If you're wondering why we're doing Starfield, I've I am going to do a simple build Starfield build playlist on my channel. For those of us like myself and some of you out there who enjoy Starfield, I know not everyone does, and that's cool. Everyone's entitled to what they enjoy. Moving on. So, we're going to talk about today, let's say you're a low-level character, like Dana here. She's low-level. She hasn't been doing so good, she's only a few levels, and just put her first outpost in. She wanted to build, for her companion here, Marika, and so many other of her companions, that she wanted to have... A place for them, a small town, if you will, for them, and a place to land her ship. So a lot of people talk about outposting in Starfield. There's a lot of different ways you can do outposting. And from building mining facilities, as well as homestead kind of places, or maybe a, a secret base for your bounty hunter, or maybe just a nice player home. Either way, there's a lot of different ways to do outposting. And this is just one of many that we're going to be doing in this wonderful, easy, simple playlist that we're doing for Starfield. Let's get into it. So if you're wondering how I got to where I am, if we go to our map, all right, There's only one exit out of New Atlantis. One real exit. And that's over here by the lodge. So you come over here next to the lodge and just run out. So if you were, like there's the door, just go right of the, of the lodge and just run all the way around this massive lake. Okay, run all the way around and just build anywhere on this, on the upper rim of the lake. It's not going to let you build over here. It's not going to let you build over here. You have to build somewhere around this upper lip of, or the upper rim of the lake. If you wanted the nice view. And that's what I did. So, outpost design. There's not one way, there's no right way or wrong way to build an outpost. But there's immersive ways and enjoyable ways that make it to where it looks pretty and have a theme for your outpost or your place that you want. In my opinion, personal opinion, you want to make sure your outpost reflects the character you're playing, you know? Now there's great builds out there on how to make the most resources and how to make the most credits and all this other stuff. Mine isn't going to be like that. <laughs> Mine's more about the immersion. So, obviously we, we picked our spot and now it's time for us to get into the building. Now, for me... Depending on the theme that I'm going for, you want to put a landing pad for your... Because if you, if you land here, right, and you don't put a landing spot, your, your ship will constantly land at New Atlantis. And you'll have to truck or run all the way to your outpost over here by the lake. Of course, if you fast travel here, you'll just appear next to your little outpost beacon right there. So, let's look at our landing pad, the big one. Everyone's favorite landing pad. Now, you see how massive this thing is? There's a lot of different ways you can build 
immersive with this pad. You can either move it to the furthest part of the circle of your outpost. And that way as you land, you will already face your outpost. Right? Or you put it in the direct center and have the outpost built around the land pad. Kind of like in um, the Mantis Lair. Or um, some of the military bases that you run into when you run into the Ecliptic or the Spacers or the Crimson Fleet. Their base is kind of built around this. And that's one idea you can take when you build your outpost is look at the ones that already exist in in the game and it's like can i do something similar all right so i'm gonna put mine right about here yeah that's good Now, there's another trick you can do with this landing pad. I don't see many people talking about it, but let's go ahead and show you how to do it. If you wanted to build an outpost immediately off of your landing pad, you can do it. The game does not prevent you from not doing it. So what you want to do is start with the door. Face the door all the way towards towards the rim. And you see you see how it's white now? Red, white. And you know also notice that things have disappeared. So once you got your position right, You confirm, and then go up, and then confirm a second time. Now look at that gap right there. Now if you go over, it's not gonna work. Go a little under, and as close as you can. Angle that opening to that floor as best as you can. You, s you see where there's that gap? This is what you want. And this is going to take some time. It's going to take some effort. Right? You're going to fail a couple of times. So, once you think you have it the first time, test it. I can already see it's not lined up. You see the gap? So, let's just climb up. And as soon as the game catches up to my running. Alright. Alright, come on game. Are we done being a pain? Alright. So that was obviously too high. So I'm going to back up a little bit. Go into build mode. Grab the door. Try this again. Now you see how it's not where it was? It would be nice if I could use this point of view to line it up, but I can't. I have to use this view. Now I'm going to try to get the right angle here. It's not close enough. I can already see that. I 
There we go. You see that? Confirm. Go up. Now I'm looking at where my character is in relation to that. Right there. That should do it. And look at that. Nice and smooth. Now from here we could build outward and to the side if we wanted to do this. And again, we just hit, whoops, not that button. You have to actually hit the right button, the launcher mage. Go back into a build mode, hit V. <laughs> Now, if you wanted to do the double-decker trick to where other halves are stacking on each other, this is the one you're going to have to start with. The four-wall hab double. Okay. A lot of you already know this, but for those of you who don't, start with this. And let's say you want to go this way, but now you want something like this but you want it on top so you just aim towards that wall voila and as you can see you have it stacked simple easy peasy not complicated and You already have it downstairs to where you want it. Now, let's say you don't want to do it this way. Let's say you want to build your outpost just off of like a lake house just off of that lake. Heading into the lake. Not a problem. Let's go back into build mode. Go to view. We're gonna grab our door. Oh wait, hang on. Can we do this? All right, we're gonna start all the way. All right, right about there should do it. We want it low to the ground. Check out the back view. Make sure we're getting exactly what we want. And confirm. Now, let's just grab the two hubs we already have over here. Let's grab this one first. Boom. And then just grab this one. And put it in the back. And as you can see, it looks quite nice. water coming in just above just above where the bars of the floor underneath here the foundation is going into the water very simple very easy simple tricks even at low level you can do these simple things to kind of give a style and a theme of what you're going for Maybe you wanted a beachfront property. There you go. Or a beach house. That's over the over the lake. Go for it. 
Why not? Now, for those of you who don't like outpost build and just want to do house decorations, um, in Aquila City or here at New Atlantis, there's there's the apart there's two apartments in New Atlantis um, that you can get. Though you will have to go through the uh, the UC storyline to get them unlocked. Unlike in Aquila, where you just have to have the money to buy either the apartment or the, the manor, the house. There's also two places in Neon, but one of them requires you to go through the storyline in there. And about 225k? 200? More than the Dream Home, which is another one you can get. Where if you just wanted a place to decorate, and you don't have to do Outpost, ever. You are not bound to Outposting. You're not stuck doing it. Moving on. So let's go on to more of a theme for your companions. So why would you want to build um, an outpost that is not making you money? Maybe you want it for your dream home, for your player characters and your companions, such as the named characters or the named companions that you can hire that are not part of Constellation. Such as the ones you can get here at New Atlantis. Like uh, Simeon or Simon, Gideon, Marika. You can hire all three of those. Simon is a sniper, kind of like Garrus. He reminds me of Garrus, but human. Um, Gideon is really good if you like um, your ballistic auto cannons and your missiles on your ship to be well taken care of. But they don't have a place once you hire them. All right? So there's two ways you can do. You can either build a big ass ship for everybody but and your crew and live on your ship, or you build a small outpost for them where they can live here if you want. Whether it be a fort or a base, And again, you can if I wanted something like this and then stack it with this. First, I'm going to have to face it the right way. Now, did you notice something? If you put it above on the second one with nothing underneath, it will fill it in with foundation. If I can get it to... There we go. And there's the foundation underneath. Kind of like a small little mini tower, if you will. And if you wanted this higher, right? If you wanted to stack something on top of this one. Well, we go back to this. What you probably want to do to make it easier on yourself is give yourself a hallway. If the snapping of this game is a bit extreme, as you can see, I'm trying to get it onto the second one. There it goes, finally. 
but I'm out of sealant. And now I should be able to... No. Well, the idea is to have that hallway connect to the bottom, and you should be able to stack another row on top. That's the idea. But you will have to fight with the dam snapping. <laughs> Now, to build any outpost, you are going to require a lot of resources. Speaking of resources, one of the things about this game is let's say I didn't want this anymore. I'm going to scrap it. I get my resources back. I get my, my titanium, my sealant, my lead back. I didn't want this. Now, I have sealing, lead, and aluminum back. One of the benefits, some, some of these kind of games don't give you back all your resources. And why did the camera just suddenly go down? All right. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Bring him more. Hmm. You can be as creative as you want with this game. You're gonna tr you're gonna experiment. You're gonna delete things. You're gonna remove things. You're gonna remove things. It's all part of the fun. Now I kind of wish there was a way where you can build railings. And flooring, like you see at some of the other outposts in the game, or settlements. We don't have that. Maybe that'll be a thing in the future. Who knows? Okay, there we go. Now, you could also make a small settlement if you wish. A bunch of little houses lined up. Anything you want to do, you can do it. It just will take some creativity. And yeah, you can make itself easy by putting mods. Now, a tip. You see this fuel, fuel generator? Getting one of these is a great idea. But if you're early in the level like this character is, you don't want to do it. Because you're going to also need to create a gas... Where is it? A gas storage right next to it. And you're going to have to constantly fill up the storage. Not liquid. Gas. Helium is a gas. Now, if you have, if your outpost fits, oops, I have that floating, hang on. Let's go ahead and delete that. If your outpost requires it, you can put one of those, um, cargo links, which is not a bad idea and have it aimed like the incoming aimed at your gas storage 
that is li linked up to your helium tank. Your he um, where is it? The helium power thing that requ obviously requires helium fuel generator, helium three, and one for twenty power. So as long as you keep that gas uh, gas storage filled, you'll have 20 power for your base or your outpost or whatever. But if you're early levels, you see where it says produces six? This will change based on the planet's ability to get sun. If your planet is like an ice planet and doesn't get a lot of sun, this will be like a three or a four. Same thing with the wind turbines, which also requires cobalt. It's six on this planet, but in some planets where there's no atmosphere or no wind or no plants, it's going to be like a three or a four. But on but on this beautiful planet with that has the beautiful town of, or city of New Atlantis. It's a six. So, what I'm going to do with this early level character is put one of these right on top. Now, do you have to put it on top? No. You can actually put it like you see. See, it produces its own foundation. Kind of like you see some of those uh, outposts out there or settlements out there. Now, since that is six power, I want to make sure that it's doing something. Let's go ahead and put like a turret. I can put one of these, and they both, all three of these, at her low level, all require a power of three. It's going to cost that solar power thing three. This is probably the cheapest. These these two are more expensive. So let's go ahead and use this cheap one here. Resource wise. It's pretty cheap. So I'm just going to put it on the corner. Zoom in a bit. There we go. And you, all, you see it bounce it back up, right? That means it's powered. If I put another one, it'll be powered. Now I could put a pretty turb wind turbine if I had cobalt. I'd put it right next to that spot right here. Now, let's go on in. Probably turn this room into this character's bedroom or maybe this room who knows or m I might have a bedroom just off of Actually, that's probably a better idea and say do I have enough materials to do what I'm thinking no I do not I have ran out of sealant And that's fine. But you see how this one has an angle wall? And these are straight. As soon as I push the right buttons again. You'll notice that if you wanted to put like a poster or even this wall racket, the flat ones work nice right but it won't work on these angled ones 
only the flat ones. So that's another little tiny trick or tip. Not really a trick, it's just a tip. If you want things on your walls, go for the flat. If you don't, go for the angle. Now, the more you p design and research and study and build things in your research and you'll start unlocking you want to unlock if you're if you're crazy about outpost building all right and if you enjoy it you want to put points and obviously let's take a look first one you're gonna to have to unlock is outpost engineering which you're gonna need eight points in science to unlock the first one and then another one that you're gonna probably need down the line especially if you like putting uh, wanting to build on dangerous planets that have extreme environments you're gonna need this one and just for the first one just for this line here you're gonna need 12 and there's another one in the social tree that you'll need if you want more people at your settlement this one's really handy if you're you have a big crew on your stick in your ship if you have a big if you have like all the named characters you might want to use that one and of course if you don't have the big named characters like the just the ones with the title and have like one or two stars but we'll get into those guys in another time but there is a purpose for those some people don't realize it but there is a purpose for those guys and it's mainly about getting resources well, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people of YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this very, very beginning first simple build of Starfield as we begin the Starfield simple builds. And for those of you who like Fallout 4, don't worry. Fallout 4 builds, simple builds are still coming down the line, as well as the Settlements and Survival uh, gameplay, uh, War Never Changes gameplay overhaul mod that I have. Those are still coming down the line. Those are not disappearing anytime soon. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And you have been magical with Glantra Mage. Have a good one. Bye-bye.